This new neodymium magnet battery breakthrough shocks American scientists. Neodymium magnets are the strongest, most important, and most commonly used permanent magnets at present. Based on the different manufacturing processes, it is divided into sintered neodymium magnets and bonded neodymium magnets. Well, hello, and welcome everyone to the Tech Edge channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss something about the neodymium magnet. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button to get more of our uploads. Make sure you stay tuned till the end. Neodymium magnets are permanent magnets made of neodymium, iron, and boron. They are from the rare earth magnet family and have the highest magnetic properties of all permanent magnets, stronger than samarium cobalt, alnico, and ferrite. In addition to their high magnetic strength, they are relatively inexpensive, making them an ideal choice for a wide range of consumer, commercial, industrial, and technical applications. Neodymium magnets offer maximum performance from the smallest magnet volume. They should always be coated to guard against the risk of corrosion. These are some popular finishes. There are 55 NDFEB magnets commonly in use. They are used in nearly all industries automotive, aerospace, wind turbine, military, white goods, lighting, food preparation, separation, motor and generator industries are just a few examples of industries. Features and characteristics. There are different grades of neodymium magnets, for example, N35, N38, N42, N38SAH, etc. Each type of neodymium magnet is rated according to its material. The magnetic force increases with the magnet's grade. Current high-grade neodymium magnets are in 52. Any letter following the grade indicates the magnet's temperature rating. Magnets with no letters following the grade are neodymium standard temperature. So no letter on a standard neodymium magnet indicates its maximum operating temperature, 80 degrees Celsius. Our neodymium magnets are all REACH and ROOH US compliant. They do not contain any SVHC, and the neodymium is produced to ISO 9001 and ISO 14001 quality control standards. NDFEBB neodymium magnets are usually supplied in blocks, discs, rings, arcs, spheres, triangles, tracezoids, and many other shapes as stock and custom items. We also manufacture NDFEB magnet assemblies. The performance of a neodymium magnet is affected by temperature. As the temperature gets colder, neodymium magnets get stronger, and they even operate better at lower temperatures. Neodymium magnets are said to be able to function well in temperatures as low as minus 130 degrees Celsius. It is also possible for certain grades of neodymium magnets to be exposed to very high temperatures before they begin to change their properties and either temporarily or permanently lose their magnetism. Neodymium magnets decrease in magnetic strength by 0.11% for every degree Celsius of temperature increase. If the maximum operating temperature is not exceeded, this small loss can be fully recovered on cooling. In the case of exceeding it, the small loss will not be recovered on cooling. The magnetic field output of neodymium magnets increases with temperature up to 80 degrees Celsius, and after that point, they begin to lose their effectiveness. There are different levels of neodymium 35 temperature rating. Higher temperature versions are rated from up to plus 100 degrees Celsius to a maximum of up to plus 230 degrees Celsius. The magnetic performance will continue to decline after successive hot-cold cycles. Without careful design of the magnetic circuit, you should not use these magnets in temperatures above 130 degrees Celsius. The permanent demagnetization fields and radiation can also affect neodymium magnets, so the magnet must always be fully understood according to the environment in which it will be used. In humid conditions, magnets without a surface coating such as plating may rust. Therefore, all neodymium magnets or rare earth magnets should have some form of protective coating to minimize and ideally prevent corrosion. Uncoated is not advised. The default or standard protective coating 
is NICU and iPlating. Other coatings slash finishes exist. Over 40 finishes are currently available, where maximum corrosion resistance is required for NDFEB. Consider using the increased corrosion resistance range of NDFEB alloys. In China and the United States, automakers in the West are trying to reduce their reliance on a key driver of the electric vehicle revolution. Permanent magnets, sometimes smaller than a pack of cards, that power electric engines. Most are made of rare earth metals from China. The metals in the magnets are abundant, but can be dirty and difficult to produce. China has grown to dominate production, and with demand for magnets is on the rise for all forms of renewable energy. Some auto firms have been looking to replace rare earth for years. Now manufacturers amounting to nearly half of global sales say they are limiting their use, a Reuters analysis found. Automakers in the West say they are concerned not just about securing supply, but also about huge price swings and environmental damage in the supply chain. This means managing the risk that scrapping the metals could shorten the distance a vehicle can travel between charges. Without a solution to that, the range anxiety that has long hampered the industry would increase, so access to the metals may become a competitive edge. Rare earth magnets, mostly made of neodymium, are widely seen as the most efficient way to power electric vehicles. China controls 90% of their supply. Prices of neodymium oxide more than doubled during a nine-month rally last year and are still up 90%. The US, the Department of Commerce, said in June, it is considering an investigation into the national security impact of neodymium magnet imports. Companies trying to cut their use include Japan's third largest car maker, Nissan Motor Co., which told Reuters it is scraping rare earth from the engine of its new Araya model. Germany's BMW AG did the same for its iX3 electric SUV this year, and the world's two biggest automakers, Toyota Motor Corp of Japan and Volkswagen. AG of Germany have told Reuters they are also cutting back on the minerals. Rare earth is critical for the electronics, defense, and renewable energy industries. Because some can generate a constant magnetic force, the magnets they make are known as permanent magnets. Electric cars with these require less battery power than those with ordinary magnets, so vehicles can go longer distances before recharging. They were the no-brainer choice for EV motors until about 2010 when China threatened to cut rare earth supply during a dispute with Japan. Prices boomed. Now, supply concerns are opening a divide between Chinese EV producers and their Western rivals. While automakers in the West are cutting down, the Chinese are still churning out vehicles using permanent magnets. A Chinese rare earth industry official told Reuters that if geopolitical risks are set aside, China's capacity can fully meet the needs of the world's automotive industry. Altogether, based on sales data from Jado Dynamics, manufacturers accounting for 46% of total light vehicle sales in 2020 have said they have scrapped, planned to eliminate, or are scaling down rare earth in electric vehicles. And new ventures are springing up to develop electric motors without the metals, or to boost recycling of the magnets used in existing vehicles. Companies that spend tens or hundreds of millions developing a family of products, they don't want to put all their eggs in one basket. That's the Chinese basket, said Murray Eatington, who runs the electrified powertrain department at British consultancy drive system design. They want to develop alternatives. Neodymium is a mighty metal. The neodymium magnets in a typical EV weigh up to three kilograms, but even at one twelfth of that weight, a neodymium magnet can support steel as heavy as prize fighter Tyson Fury and will have about 18 times more magnetic energy than the standard variety, British magnet company Bunting told Reuters. Even though the pandemic has dented auto sales, Demand for these magnets in electric vehicles shot up by 35% last year, alone to 6,600 tons, Adamus Intelligence says. The permanent magnets in hybrid and EV motors cost more than $300 per vehicle, or up to half the cost of the motor, analysts say. Analysts at investment bank UBS 
Expect electric models to make up half of the global new car sales by 2030, up from only 4% last year. The magnets are also in demand for wind turbines, global installations of which jumped 53% last year, according to the industry trade group. Over the past two decades, Western countries largely withdrew from producing rare earth metals, which involve complex processing and often noxious byproducts. Today, China's dominance runs through the entire production chain. The upstream rare earth supply chain, including mining and processing, is a big concern, but when it comes to actual RE magnet production, China has an even tighter grip, said David Merriman at Roskill, a critical materials consultancy in London. If the forecasts are correct, it's not certain that even these tweaks can cool the market. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is all you need to know about the new neodymium magnet. Did you find it interesting? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to always stay up to date with our uploads. Stay safe.